I hate when your hair gets all like crazy. So I asked you guys on Snapchat if you wanted to see some stuff that has been sent to me, PR and some stuff that I have bought. Um, and you guys said you wanted to see it, so I aim to please and I'm going to show you the stuff now. So this first company sent me a few goodies. They are a company called Ankit. I've never heard of them before until they reached out to me. And they they have like fun lifestyle things, just like really random products that you can find in like Forever 21, Nordstrom, those kinds of places, like Anthropology. So they just sent me a couple things and I was like, okay, when they came in the mail, they were really cute and I just, I have to show you guys. First I got this mug, it says Namaste Bitches, <laughs> um, but please don't be offended by the profanity and it's really cute because it says drink up bitch in here. It's so adorable. Um, yeah. You know what? I don't drink tea or coffee much, so what I've been doing with this mug is eating oatmeal out of it. Listen, you gotta do what you gotta do. Actually, I had Freena out of it one night too. One, actually one morning. So uh, it's one of those really huge mugs. I, I love these huge mugs and I remember when I first got my, when I first got, when I got my first apartment, these kinds of huge mugs were a staple because they're multi-purpose. You can eat cereal out of them, you can drink out of them, you can eat out of them. There's all sorts of things you can do with them, so I love these kinds of mugs. Anyway, namaste bitches. I really like this mug, it's super cute. I hope it's not getting washed out by the lighting. Um, they also sent me this, which I kind of have one of these already, but I really like this one. This is called my vacation fun jar. <laughs> it's just a, it's just like a little change jar that it has a slit in the top, and I put a little dime in there because that's all I've put in there so far. Uh, I don't really have a lot of change to be honest with you guys. I mainly pay with my debit card, so I don't really carry cash a lot, but you can be sure that when I have cash, I will put the change in here. I have one up there, and it's for, um, it's like a future fund, so vacation fund is a nice separate one. I think this is really cute. I love the, the little detailing, and this flower looks like, it kind of looks like a forget-me-not, which I have tattooed right here, excuse my bra, but I have tattooed right here. Um, for my husband's uh, birth flower, and it looks like the same flower on the jar. So, I, it's a little overshare, I know. I just, whatever, okay. Yeah, I did, I just whipped out my shoulder. <laughs> the third thing that they sent me were these adorable headphones. These are noise-canceling headphones. Really super cute, I love the color scheme. I love the floral pattern, and then the mint inside. So these are great if you go on a trips and whatnot. Well, I don't listen to headphones a lot, but when I do use them, it's at nighttime when I don't want to disturb my husband or when I'm like traveling on a plane or whatnot. So I am going to be traveling on Thursday to go visit my Bifroni Danny. So I will be bringing these little puppies with me. So these are awesome. So cute. Like they're so girly. I love them. The only problem I have with headphones sometimes is because sometimes is I have these um, front helix tat um, tattoos, um, earrings and headphones kind of bother me a little bit, but those are really soft, so. Next is this necklace I got from Happiness Boutique. You guys know that I love Happiness Boutique. They send me pieces to wear in my videos occasionally. I think they're so gorgeous, and they always let me pick just the cutest statement pieces. I love this because it's just one of those cute pretty sparkly over the top necklaces and I did get a second one which is more of a bib style it's a little bit bigger I know you guys are like Sam it's the same necklace it really isn't I promise this one is a much bigger and a drapier like why am I putting it against it it's like much drapier and bigger and it's more like a bib style really super super pretty I'll put the links of these products below for you guys if you want to check out the necklaces what do I have to show you next 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 okay I was in, I want to say Walgreens, yeah, I was in Walgreens, and I saw this product, and I was, I just, I'd never heard of it before, and I was super excited because washing brushes is the bane of my existence. I have hundreds of makeup brushes, and when I tell you, I let it go, like, months before I wash them, because I will just keep pulling clean ones until I absolutely have to wash them. I hate washing brushes so bad. So I saw these in Walgreens. These are the Wet n Wild Brush Up 
brush cleansing cloths. I wanted to give these a go. This is for spot cleaning and they're supposed to dry really quick. I don't know if any of you have used these before. If you have, please comment below and let me let me uh, hear your thoughts on them. So they were, it was only a couple dollars. It was on sale. I think it was like two dollars on sale or something like that. So I got these and I wanted to try them out. I'll let you guys know how I like them. So yeah, mm. brush cleaning wipes. A lot easier than First of all, shampooing them. I really need to shampoo all my brushes. That's the fact. I really need to shampoo my brushes. But I'm so lazy. Lazy. These next products sent to me were sent to me by my mom. So I have to tell you about them. Alright, so I told you guys a few months ago, several months ago at this point, that my mom was making soap. She makes the most amazing smelling soap that I have been using for months. Months, guys. I have not used body wash since October. That sounds really gross. I've been using her bath bars instead of, of using body wash. And all my back acne has actually cleared up. Go over here. Like, I have no pimples right now. I'm not saying it's because of the soap, but I'm thinking maybe the change in body wash has really helped. Anyway, she was so sweet to make bath bars that are for me and Danny because <laughs> she's she knows Danny's my best friend so she made these bars that were like inspired by us she named one of them tea time with Sammy which smells just oh my god it, it smells so so good she doesn't use any preservatives and she uses all natural essential oils it just smells like deliciousness and she also did a bar called breaking up Breaking Coffee with Danny? Yeah. So mine is Tea Time with Sammy and then Breaking Coffee with Danny, which is like the most delicious coffee smelling body bar ever. So these are her soaps. She actually made them in in a bar too, like in a cupcake. Let me show you guys this. This is just so freaking cute. I can't even stand it. Little cupcake bath bars. Oh, so this is the Tea Time with Sammy bath bar that is in a cupcake. So this is soap. This is all body bar and you just cut it in half. And the way I've been using them for, I've been using them for months, guys. Like right there is my stash. Like right down there is all but bath soap my mom has been sending me. Oh, you cut it in half and then you take your loofah and you just rub it on your loofah and it makes the most amazing like foamy, lather oh it's just so good you guys and it smells delicious so this is um yeah my mom's soap she uses like the prettiest colors too like look at the colors in there it's so pretty oh I love it oh she's so sweet and if you guys are interested I'm not forcing you but if you are interested in checking out the soaps my mom have been making I'm gonna put a link below she has a little Facebook store so if you guys want to check her out I will link her below so I have been on a nail polish pro I, I, I have a problem. I have a problem specifically with Essie. I've been buying way too much nail polish lately. <sighs> like this is within the last month. Six nail polishes. It's crazy. Like I have a problem. The other night I went to my local CVS and I found this, which is super hard to get in limited edition. And I just happened to find it. And this is called Starry Starry Night by Essie. I'm wearing it on my nails right now. It's like a midnight blue with silver and light blue sparkles in it. So so pretty. It's limited edition. Also with that same release, I got this is bikini with a martini. It's a pink opalescent. Super pretty. Um, yeah, I have a problem. Like, it needs to stop my nail polish. Uh, the next color I got recently was Mod Squad. No, Mod Squared. Mod Square. Mod Square, which I think I'm going to be wearing for Valentine's Day. Um, Play Dates, which is a pretty lavender. This next color is called Stones and Roses, which is a nice peach. Oh, peachy coral, actually. And this last color is called Smoke and Hot, which is just, like, grayish purple. I need to stop with the nail polish. Like, this whole drawer is like, I have Essie all up here, and I have like Essie all over here. Like, I have been getting rid of nail polish like nuts. Like, what I do is put all my nail polish in a box and bring them to my job, and I let the girls at my job just have at them. And I get rid of a hundred, and then I'm like buying nonstop. So it's like, what's the point? I need to stop. I have an issue. Yeah, okay. 
So, um, yeah. Oh my god, I forgot to show you guys this. Ankit actually sent these adorable stickers. I forgot to show you guys. They just sent this leaflet of stickers, and they're all emojis. Like, you know, like eggplant, no scrubs, a knife, a knife, the alien, girl getting a massage. <gasps> Not nice. This is so funny because this is like my favorite emoji to send Danny. I send that to her all the time. You know, some pizza and some really, I love the poop. Can we go back to the poop? So, um, yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to do with those stickers, but they're really adorable. I gotta find some place to put them. It's, it'll be fun. I, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Lastly, I got a box from e.l.f. and I wanted to show you guys the products because some of them look pretty friggin' awesome and I have been using some of them already. So, ugh, garbage. Let me start with the first thing that I've been using in the shower actually and that is this right here. It is still wet. I don't know why I put it back in the box because I wanted to look authentic. This is the uh, Cleansing Duo Face Brush. Now, I use another face brush, which I'm going to talk about in my January, ugh, my January favorites, but this is different. The one I use and that I'm going to talk about my January favorites is a spin brush, and this, that's different than this. This is like a massaging brush. Now, these bristles are very soft. It's, they're like human hair soft, so you're not scrubbing anything with this. This is, there's a hair. <laughs> this is more for applying your face wash. So in the morning when I'm in the shower, what I do is I put two pumps of my face wash on here and I just kind of create a lather with this side of the brush. And you're not scrubbing at all and you're creating a lather. And then once you create the lather, you massage your face with this little fun side. The little rubber bristles help just massage out oils and whatnot, um, but it doesn't exfoliate. It just massages out that oil. So I really like this brush a lot. Um, yeah, this is a great, great little, little bitty. So I've been loving that brush. And that's along with some of the new skincare that e.l.f. is going to release, which is along with some of this other stuff. They've also come out with a pore refining, pore refining brush and mask tool. I haven't opened this one yet, but I saw someone else talking about this. This is awesome. So this is something that... Oh my god, I didn't even know. I thought this was a bristle. So it looks like it's a paddle brush, but it's not. It's, it's like a rubber, rubber, a rubber thing. So you grab the product with this is a spatula. You grab the product with the spatula and you apply to the center of the face and you blend it in if you need to with this little brush here. So I don't to cleanse the skin. Okay, so you use this to apply moisturizers, masks, cleansers, and scrubs. So that's cool. I thought this was a brush. That's so strange. Well, that's cool. I'm excited to have that. And I will give that a go because I use regular traditional paddle brushes when I apply my face mask. More skin care. Let's see what we've got. All right, so this, this thing, it looks like a damn torture device. What is this? This looks like the a facial massager. Yes, the... This is the e.l.f. facial massager. This is, what do I do? After applying e.l.f. daily hydration moisturizer, gently roll the massager upward and outward on the face and body, making sure to avoid eye areas. So I guess you really work in your moisturizer with this? Okay, we're definitely gonna give this a go. This looks really cool. It looks a little scary at first. I was a little scared, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not as scared now. <laughs> okay, next we've got the Hydrating Gel Melt Cleanser. Let's see about this. I, Elf kills it with this packaging. I love this frosty seafoam green packaging. This is daily moisturizer and it's gentle and hydrating formula transforms a, a, a gel into a milky cleanser to dissolve makeup. So this is cool, this is a, it's a daily cleanser. I don't think I've ever had a daily cleanser in a jar like this, except for like Neutrogena. No, no, Nyxema. So it looks like a gel. And then, hey, you could add, you could use the little spatula thing to apply this to your face to wash off all your makeup. All right. Last for the skincare, we've got the Hydrating Bubble Mask. This sounds fun. This is a big jar. It's a big jar open. 
All right, the hydrating mask, the bubble mask, push down on the sides of the top to disperse product. All over damn skin and bubbles will form. When bubbles begin to dissipate after five to 10 minutes, massage with fingertips and wash with warm water and then follow with moisturizer. So that's cool. I, I can't wait to try this. A bubble mask. It sounds fun. Doesn't it sound like a part? It sounds like a party. It sounds like a party on my face, which is always a good thing. Yeah. Oh, this is funny. Okay, Elf sent um, some brush cleaner wipes, which I was just talking about the Wet n Wild ones that I bought. So this came in. So I guess maybe I'll do a little comparison on the brush cleaner wipes. These come in individual, little individual wraps, which is actually awesome if you're traveling. I really like that. Next, we have a, a cream contour kit. Now, this looks kind of dark for me, honestly. Um, I don't really love cream contour kits, so I'll probably give this away. Look at how dark that is. Elf. Elf, what am I supposed to use this for? Like, even the lightest shade is too dark for me. Yeah, okay. So, I'm gonna have to give this to somebody with a darker skin complexion than me. Um, cause I am a pale, 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 um, yeah, but this next thing, look at this next thing, this is the two, the total face palette, totally bare, and this is, what's the shade? Soft and subtle, look at how pretty, this reminds me of the Bobbi Brown packaging, <gasps> oh, nice, really pretty, look at this peach, and this coral, Nice. That's pretty. I've always been a fan of blushes from e.l.f. This like shimmery kind of highlight shade. That's nice. This is a contour shade, I think. This is a little too orange for me, but it's it's pretty. Like, that's pretty. And look at this packaging. e.l.f. is really getting fancy, guys. Like, they are really upping, upping the game, like, quite a bit. Like, their game is slaying. All right. Oh, I, I forgot a tool. I got the uh, e.l.f. Beauty, uh, Beautifully Bare Lip Brush. So this is a nice retractable lip brush. I do have a couple of those already, so I'll probably give that away because how many lip brushes does a girl need? Ooh, here's a lip. Oh, that's, that's why. Okay, so they sent me the retractable lip brush because they sent me a lip palette as well. This is called the Runway Ready Lip Palette. Let's check this out. I think this might be the first lip palette they've ever had. Oh, you know what? This comes with a brush already. Look at these shades. You guys. Look, oh my god, look at the shade. I need I need the shade right now. Look at how dark some of these shades are. Wow. <gasps> I did not expect that pigmentation. Wow. No sm well, no, it smells kinda like creamy. Let me try this. I have to try this dark color. Even though the brush is dirty right now, we're gonna get over that. We're gonna get over that. Okay, the pigmentation on the dark color isn't great. So, oops. But the other colors look really nice. So be on the lookout for that. The last four things that I see here in the box are lipsticks. They look, something smells. Okay, I'm gonna do a little service announcement right quick. Never leave your curling irons plugged in. I left mine plugged in. And I smelled this burning, and I'm like, what is that burning? And it's, I smelled it, I'm like, what the, f you know? And look what, look, look what's all over my curling iron now. This could have started a fire, guys, and I don't know how I left this plug in, but it was on, and it could have started a fire. <sighs> Samantha. Okay, so the four looks at colors, like, I'm a little blown away right now that that just happened. <sighs> Thank God I was in here to smell it, and it didn't start a fire seriously okay so this first color is called touch of berry the, the packaging is really pretty this reminds me of those like moisture surge uh, lip products that they have and these are called beautifully bare lipsticks so really pretty let's uh, get to swatching okay they don't seem to be very pigmented they seem to be more like luster lipsticks from Mac like very sheer so that's what that color looks like. This next color is called Touch of Nude. Touch of Nude. I really, I'm digging this packaging though. 
looks like that. Okay, Touch Up Nude looks to seem to have, it looks like it's got a little bit more pigmentation. It's pretty. I'm sorry guys, like I feel really like screwed up right now. That scared me. This next color is called Touch of Pink. Looks like this. This is a nice, this is a nice shade. I hope this comes on nice. I don't think this is gonna look good on me, but it's pretty. A touch of pink. I just have a feeling that when I put it on my lips, it's not gonna look good. This last color is called Touch of Blush. And that is Touch of Blush. So these lipsticks look really nice. I'm excited to try them. Oh, well, sorry guys that I kind of got put off after that whole almost, bur almost burning down my friggin' house thing. Oh my gosh. Alright, so the last thing that I have to show you is from ColourPop. This is their new Valentine's Day color. It is one of their um, matte X. It's like their super matte colors. And this is in the color Trust Me. So this is like supposed to be super, super matte, guys. That looks almost identical to Ruby Woo, which I'm wearing right now. Doesn't it? Holy mackerel. And it's got the nice smell. Beautiful. Doesn't it look like Ruby Woo? Get out of here. I can't even believe it. It's totally a dupe. Dupe alert. I'm going to have to put that on Instagram let you guys know. So, alright guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Um... If you want to see reviews or tutorials on anything that I showed here today, then let me know in the comment section. I really appreciate all your support and love, you guys, on Snapchat. You have been amazing lately, and I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, yeah, so I hope you're having a great day. I love you guys so much. Give me a thumbs up if you like, and it just lets me know that you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.